guys and welcome back to my channel. A few years ago I posted up a video on my Myasthenia Gravis story and ever since I posted up that YouTube video I've been getting a lot of messages just about on what supplements I was taking, what I was eating, how I was training, all of these questions on how I was able to reverse my autoimmune condition and become in remission. So I just have to put a quick disclaimer out there that although I am a health coach, I am not a qualified medical professional, nor do I claim to be one. Most of the advice that you see me post on Instagram or on YouTube or on my Facebook is pretty much just my journey, taking you guys along with me, what has worked for me, what hasn't worked for me. And with autoimmune conditions, especially myasthenia gravis, there is no known cure for myasthenia gravis, but there are a lot of things that you can start implementing today to help you enrich your life make you live a somewhat normal life and be symptom free be happy and just overall enjoy your life so I'm just gonna jump straight into these questions and answer them as we go along so the first question is um, what made you decide to make such huge changes did you decide that you want to be in remission or did it just happen First of all, I didn't even know that being in remission from my senior gravis was even possible. What made me decide to become medication free? So I think I may have mentioned this in my previous video. I did meet my now husband and I remember going into the doctor's office one day because I sort of wanted to prep my body to be able to have children in one or two years. I just wanted that as an option and I wanted to know what I needed to do to get my body ready. I remember the doctor telling me that day that it wasn't possible for me to become pregnant as long as I'm on um, all this medication and I remember just coming out of the doctor's office crying my eyes out I felt so defeated I felt like I couldn't have kids and after about a while let's say about a week or so of feeling sorry for myself I decided to take my health into my own hands and that all started with just doing some research on how I can improve my overall health and who can help me. So I actually did go back to my neurologist and ask him if it was possible to become medication free and if we could maybe lower my dosage of medication into hopefully prepping my body into be able to conceive one day and to be honest it wasn't really that helpful for me. He said that he was happy for me to keep going back and seeing him and lowering my dosage of medication over time but that just wasn't good enough for me because I'm just so impatient with things so when I was doing my research I came across a naturopath and I had no idea what a naturopath was and I liked the idea of a naturopath so I actually did extensive research in my area of who was a really good naturopath and who had experience with autoimmune conditions in particular myasthenia gravis and I highly recommend if you guys are going to hire a naturopath to really do your research I think the first consultation with a naturopath I think 15 minutes they spend with you is free so this is your opportunity and what I did is really interview them, get to know them, get to know their experience, have they had myasthenia gravis patients and just how much they know on myasthenia gravis and how they think they could help my condition in particularly. So this one naturopath that really stood out to me was Victoria O'Sullivan. If you are in Sydney and looking for a naturopath, I highly recommend to go check them out. I see Adrian and he has been the sole reason why I've been able to become medication free for about four years now I've been medication free I have had one relapse and that lasted about a week and a half that was I think that was last month that that happened and that was due to some of the things that I was eating and I'll get more into nutrition a bit later on but hiring a naturopath was absolutely a game changer for me. So the second question is who helped me become in remission? So as I mentioned before a naturopath was the absolute game changer for me in becoming medication free and living my life in remission. Just to let you guys know that this happened all over a period of time it didn't happen straight away you have to be patient if you are trying to reverse your autoimmune condition what I can say is my naturopath did do a lot of blood work and did a food allergy test which I highly recommend you guys do if you haven't had one already food allergy test is important because what I didn't know 
and what my results came back with at the time is that my body has trouble digesting proteins i also can't have a lot of foods that i considered healthy which was a big eye-opener for me at the time there was actually a lot of foods that actually helped me with my condition which i wasn't aware of before so anything hemp based hemp protein hemp seeds and turmeric which i've never taken before in my life didn't even know what turmeric was until i met my naturopath and i started taking turmeric supplements which helped me a lot so further down the track I did end up hiring a nutritionist as well in addition to seeing my naturopath. I did want someone that can help me switch up my meals a bit more because I was a bit sick of just eating the same things over and over. I did want someone there to also help me maintain my lifestyle and what I was trying to achieve nutrition wise. If you're going if you're looking for a nutritionist, I highly recommend to do your research. I was looking for someone in particular that had a background with autoimmune conditions, healing a leaky gut. I wanted someone that was holistic. I knew what I wanted in a nutritionist and there was about a few that I actually went through till I actually found one that resonated with me and that I really liked. I know that a lot of this sounds very expensive and it is quite an investment but I swear to you guys that an investment in your health is never wasted like for me I would probably still be on a lot of medication right now if I didn't decide to make healthier changes and decide that I want better for my life and my future so I would say after about six months of fully being vegan and just eating really restrictive I noticed that my energy levels increased i was able to lift weights for the first time in my life like i was able to lift really heavy i felt confident enough to go to the gym and exercise as myself without having to depend on someone else to help me which was such a good feeling i think for all the restrictions that i put my body through for a whole year was so worth it because there was a lot of things that i noticed that i didn't even know were possible for me However, it does take consistency, it does take patience, and it does take determination as well. So that's where mindset comes in, and it's really, really important that you understand why you want to reverse your autoimmune condition. It, it isn't something that you can just rush and do A, B, and C, and then you'll see results within a month or two. Like, it just doesn't work like that. You need to be connected on all levels, mental, physically, emotionally. You need to know your reason why. Once you get in the right headspace and you're filling your body with the healthy nutrients that it needs, you will start to see changes straight away. And I know a lot of you guys are so impatient and you want to be free from pain and just living your life this way trust me i know i wanted to end my life and i tried to end my life quite a few times thankfully unsuccessfully because i just didn't want to be a burden on anyone and i didn't want anyone to have to look after me and honestly i felt so alone i felt like the people around me just didn't understand what i was going through I mean, how could they? They didn't have an autoimmune condition and they don't know what it feels like to be inside my own head. So I understand how frustrating it can be. And honestly, when I talk to you guys and you guys tell me your stories and where you're at in your life, it is so heartbreaking for me because I remember so clearly just how it feels struggling every single day and night and just hating life and feeling alone. It's not a good feeling, but Honestly, if you can be your own best friend and pull yourself through this, this is what I had to do for myself. It was the hardest thing I ever had to do in my life, but I promise you it will be worth it. So after about a year of seeing my nutritionist and my naturopath, I was able to hire a personal trainer and I was able to take my fitness to the next level. I actually finished an eight week fitness program, which I was so proud of myself because that year, I was getting married and my husband and I decided to elope in Santorini, Greece and I wanted to go traveling around Europe and just feel fine and not have to worry about my medication or my symptoms like acting up and I worked really really freaking hard just to make sure that that wouldn't happen and that I could live my best life traveling Europe for a month 
and also lose weight because I know a lot of you guys are asking me questions on steroids because it's making you get that moon face and it's making you hungry and put on a lot of weight. I experienced this as well and it did take quite a while for me to lose the weight and also lower the dosage of steroids. I had to completely come off steroids when it was safe to do so in order to start losing the weight and once I started to up my exercise more just do whatever your body is capable of if you can only walk around the block then that's an achievement if you can only just do little exercises like lifting your arms up or lifting your legs up when you're in a chair just do whatever you can do in the meantime it all counts and it's all helping your body in the long term so the number one question you guys have been asking me over and over and over again is what supplements did I take and what herbs did I take to become medication free. Honestly, it's just not solely based on what herbs I took or what supplements I took. Yes, they did help me, but there is a lot of work that you have to put in as well on top of supplementation nutrition and exercise like you have to see this as one whole big package it's not like these supplements are going to cure your body it doesn't work like that so keep in mind that supplements are used as a tool to help your body function better and to enhance your overall health there's some supplements that you guys probably won't be able to take if you're on medication these are the supplements I took when I started to lower my dosage in medication. At this time, I was only on Mestanon and even then I was decreasing my dosage of Mestanon. This was with the approval and the okay of my naturopath and my neurologist. So I actually looked back in my health diary back when I first started seeing my naturopath. So if you see me looking at my phone, I don't mean to be rude. It's just I can't remember all these things off by heart. And another thing that I highly suggest that you guys do is, if you haven't already, start a health journey, like what you're eating, how you're feeling, the exercises that you're doing, what medication are you on, what dosage of medication are you on, are you decreasing medication, increasing medication, and write down what your goals are. But ever since I decided that I wanted to be in remission and medication free, I started a health diary and I just logged all of these things, which today I am so glad that I did because when I relapsed last month, I was able to reset my health again because I remember what I did before and I did it again and I got fast results this time. Again, it's just what worked for me so these are the supplements that I have previously taken with the prescription from my naturopath again I got these supplements from my naturopath you may not have heard some of these names before but I'll go through and tell you what they are so the first thing that I started to take was something called ultra flora which is an immune control and it's just to help boost your overall immunity and the second thing I took was Metapure which is a naturopath grade high quality fish oil I was taking two of these in the morning and two of these at night the next thing was Mag Magtor and this is magnesium now I know a lot of you with myasthenia gravis cannot take magnesium as this will not help your condition I started taking magnesium when my symptoms were very well managed and I didn't really have any myasthenia gravis symptoms I was pretty much in remission at this point so it was safe for me to take magnesium I took a prebiotic and probiotic capsule which again was just from the naturopath. I was suffering from a lot of bloating and digestion issues so I did take a digestive vegetable enzyme which was no dairy gluten free. The next supplement is called Hemogenics and this is an advanced iron formula because at the time I was really really low in iron. Again, you can get all of this supplementation from food, but seeing as though we wanted to speed up the process, this is what my naturopath had recommended for me. Vitamin D. Vitamin D is so, so important for anyone with an autoimmune condition, and I recommend that you do your own research. But if you don't get much sun or sit out in the sun much like me, I'm a very indoors, indoorsy person most of the time and vitamin d is just one of those 
vitamins that will really help with reversing your autoimmune condition. Inflamood is a supplement that, again, no dairy, no gluten, no nuts, no soy, and it consisted of turmeric and saffron, and this helped boost my overall energy and mood. As it is quite an adjustment taking all of these supplements but again this was not all at once this was on a schedule like some I would take in the morning some at lunchtime some at night and this was all over a period of time depending on my progress and my health at the time and my goals at the time next thing was withania and withania is actually ashwagandha this was mainly for my stress levels because my stress levels were through the freaking roof when i first started seeing my naturopath i had a wedding to plan i was working full time i was finishing uni i think i was in my second last year of university as well trying to get my health in order in order to hopefully start a family one day like there was just a lot of things going on inside my head so you guys probably already know this but stress is the number one thing that will just make your condition so so much worse if you haven't found some coping mechanisms to deal with your stress anxiety whatever you are going through you need to really really find a way to manage your stress levels on a daily basis for me this is meditation and exercise it's become a non-negotiable in my every single day life i need to meditate i need to get my head in the right space before i start my day and even sometimes to end my night just so i'm not sleeping with the stress and carrying it into my next day exercise for me varies between day to day I do what my body is capable of some days I don't feel like exercising and I'll just end up going for a light walk around the block as long as I'm getting my body moving you just need to find a way to decrease your stress levels as soon as possible otherwise it's going to trigger an autoimmune reaction or even a myasthenia crisis and that has happened with me before and we don't want that happening to you Another thing that I was taking was black seed oil and you can take these as supplements. For me, I was actually just putting the oil on a teaspoon and just throwing it back. And I know this is probably not ideal to do with oil, so if you want to take supplements, you can try the black seed oil supplements. I think I took these for about, let's say, half a year. And what black seed oil does is overall boost your immune system and for me this just worked really well for me black seed oil was just one of those things that really worked well with my body I was also doing chlorophyll shots three times a week as this helped to reduce the inflammation and the growth of bacteria inside my body it also helped to build a healthier blood in our system which is what people with myasthenia gravis really need again this also helped with my iron levels and it was just something that worked really well for me at the time so the black seed oil and the chlorophyll wasn't prescribed by my naturopath that was just something that I just decided to take for myself again I did so much research on this before I decided to take this and I didn't take it for a, a long period of time I did however tell my naturopath that I was taking this and he gave it the okay so now four years later being in remission despite my week and a half relapse last month the supplements that I'm taking now is two fish oil in the morning, two before I go to bed. I am taking a multivitamin every single day. Every second day I will take a turmeric capsule and every other day that I'm not taking a turmeric capsule I'm having zinc and that's pretty much all I'm taking for the meantime. Again, my supplements are adjusted. Um, over time depending on what my health goals are how I'm feeling and whether or not I have any symptoms and these are just all of the things that you have to take into consideration as well for your life if you guys are looking to get some supplements I do highly recommend a high quality fish oil and a multivitamin and I also do recommend that you take these supplements as well as either talking to your medical doctor a naturopath or your neurologist make sure you're getting a medical health professional to oversee what you're taking and how long you're taking it for because you don't want to be taking something that's going to make your condition even worse and again this is going to be different for everybody
So another question I get asked a lot is, am I still vegan now being in remission after four years and what do I eat? First of all, if you guys head over to my Instagram, mia.ravel, I post pictures of food that I eat. I usually end up having the same thing every day for breakfast, lunch and dinner and then I'll probably switch it up weekly or monthly depending on how I'm feeling but usually I end up just eating the same things and the same food groups over a period of time and it just works for me. I'm no longer vegan but I don't eat dairy and I don't have gluten as these are just two other things that are really not good for people with an autoimmune condition even if you're in remission like me it's just something that your body does not need and that you can do without otherwise you'll find yourself probably relapsing like I did last month and it was most likely due to eating a lot of dairy and things with gluten I think I just got a bit sidetracked for a moment but now I'm back on track and I'm happy with the way I eat I don't eat meat that often maybe once or twice a week if I do decide that I want to eat meat, I do try and have salmon a lot. Salmon and hockey are like my go-to sources if I really want something with meat. I do eat a paleo-based diet, however, having said that, I'm not really restrictive with the paleo diet. I do have days where I want to have a gluten and dairy-free dessert. Sometimes if I know that I'm going to have something with gluten or dairy in it, I sort of make sure that like if I'm going out to dinner and having something with gluten or dairy or having a dessert, I make sure the next day that I'm at home because usually I feel like I have a really bad hangover and stomach aches and I'm just not feeling good when I, whenever I have gluten or dairy. So lastly, just to cover the topic on nutrition, what I highly recommend if you guys aren't doing it already is to reduce your sugar and salt intake. So what I did for the first year that I was seeing my naturopath, I used an app called MyFitnessPal which helped me track everything I was eating. It also helped me track how much sodium I was intaking on a daily basis and sugar because I really needed to make sure that those levels were down. Also my carbohydrate intake, I had to make sure that I wasn't consuming too many carbs because I am the biggest pizza and pasta and bread. I just love my carbs but I ended up finding carbs in other sources like sweet potatoes which I really really love. I upped my intake of healthy fats and these included things like coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil and avocados. I really really love avocados. Over time I was able to start eating nuts again so walnuts, macadamia nuts. So the typical nuts that you don't really eat on a day-to-day -day basis. One of the nuts that I can't have is peanuts so I can't have anything with um, peanut butter. I wasn't able to have cashews for a while but now I'm able to eat them. Having nut butters is actually better for you than if you were to have spreads that are high in sugar and high in salt. I also highly recommend you start reading and understanding your food labels. Again, for the first few months, I used to spend an hour or two in the grocery store and I know that sounds ridiculous but I wanted to make sure that I understood reading food labels and I knew exactly what I was putting into my body and how much I was putting in at any given time and over time now I can go in and out of the grocery store no worries I sort of know what things are high in sugar high in saturated fat, high in carbs and I know which food to sort of avoid and I'm very well aware of what foods are really nourishing my body and giving me the results that I want in terms of my health goals and I know which food to avoid and I also recommend for you guys to start listening to your body. One of the things that I totally ignored for a long period of time is how food made me felt. I used to love eating pasta and I didn't actually realize that pasta was the reason why I felt so heavy and bloated the next day. My concentration and energy levels were down every time I eat. I could eat like a whole pizza and a half to myself at 
at one point and I used to drink a lot and you guys know that I used to smoke a lot if you guys smoke I highly recommend you guys stop smoking as this is not going to help your autoimmune condition despite being on medication that are suppressing your symptoms in the long term it will just be more health problems if you guys drink I highly recommend to maybe stick to wines instead of like your heavy spirits and cocktails that are just full of sugar um, for me personally I don't drink anymore even on my wedding night I maybe had like half a glass of wine I'm not really a fan of the taste of wine anyway or beer or spirits I used to be such a big cocktail girl but now that I know how much sugar and syrups are being put in these cocktails it's been about three years that I just don't really drink anymore one of the things that I also didn't realize is that there is an alternative for everything instead of eating rice I eat quinoa but I also know that for people with certain autoimmune condition quinoa isn't an option but for me quinoa was just a better choice also if you're going to eat rice maybe have basmati rice instead of white or brown rice as this is more easier to digest if I'm going to have pasta I have gluten-free pasta and I make sure to control my portion sizes which is something that I never focused on before I'm not really a bread eater anymore but I do have it from time to time gluten-free bread I am someone who has always been a big sweet tooth like I love ice cream I love chips and there is actually a healthy alternative to anything when it comes to chips when it comes to bread when it comes to pasta all of your favorite foods you can ha still have pizza and you know make a healthier version of your own pizza from scratch if you guys want me to post more on what I eat in a day I'm happy to do those type of videos for you I know that I've got a few requests I pretty much eat the same thing all the time and it's a bit boring but if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments below also if I haven't answered your question today please leave me a comment or send me a message on Instagram I reply to everyone I usually reply within a week I don't really check all of my social media messages too often because that's another thing that I'm trying to stick away from I'm always always glued to my phone because I'm constantly working and trying to make sure I'm on top of everything but I just realized that I spend way too much time on technology and I need a bit of a technology detox but if you leave me a comment below I will get back to you and I hope you guys have a beautiful week ahead and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>